like Tuesday, I'll go to a different place. There's a room that they're telling me around the corner here. Yeah. There's a fucking place, an insurance place. They turn into a stand-up comedy place. Next to the sushi place with the D rating, right there by 7-Eleven by the police station. A sushi place with D rating? <laughs> Do they get any fucking business? Tons I would of never, business. I would never. Listen, for $6, never. they give you- You want you, food poisoning? Dog, I went there two times, and I, and I left there- you go there if you got weight to drop. He wants to lose some quick weight by Dog, vomiting and two shitting times for a couple it was days. Open, like one day, I go. Well, let me see if these people got business. Me and Lee went in there. I th- didn't you go in there with me and Lee? Yeah, you, Lee? Br- you brought me in there after. I-, I can't believe you're accusing me of wholesale sushi. Well, the first time it wasn't bad. It was close by. I didn't go on Yelp. I How took a chance. Me. It yeah, wasn't. You took nobody, a chance, nobody, all right. nobody got sick. Nobody got sick. It wasn't. They they gave you four items on the menu. For like six bucks <laughs> oh and a California God. row. And as you're eating it, you're like, this is two day old sushi, but I'm gonna live. I swam in the Hudson. This ain't no big thing. <laughs> isn't it isn't the name like Sonny's or something? Sonny D's. Is it, that's, it, isn't it like a Jewish old man's name? It's Sonny? a Jewish like, old man with two Mexicans right. working. They don't know it's lick as fucking English. But let me tell you something. They're out there under a highway. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, they're under a highway. The corner, 10 feet away, is rat-infested dumpster. <laughs> and do you know what? They have sidewalk eating. And there's people out there no, eating no. like it's fucking Paris, France. It's al fresco. Yeah, it's al fresco. <laughs> Between the pollution and... There's times I go to that 7-Eleven and I don't want to go home. There's a 7-Eleven there. There's a 7-Eleven, a dry cleaner, a bartending school. All right? So they have a bartending school there. And people go in there and drink. Really? Like from 8 to 10, oh that's God. what they do. So they want to train you. So neighborhood people go in there and get like a beer for like a dollar. <laughs> you learn how to get a beer, how to open it and shit like that. That's hysterical. You how get to a mix a Greyhound. And, a and then they go next door to the sushi place with the D rating. And they eat their hearts out. And they're out there, you know, talking about gluten and ha ha ha. And <laughs> world peace and Hillary Clinton should have done it. And, but meanwhile, they're eating D fucking sushi. It's hysterical. But next to that. There used to be an all-state place, and now some kid cleaned it out, put a stage in there and chairs, and for two bucks, you go up there, and they let you go on stage. And they run till like, 3 in the fucking morning. That's why I'm scared to go to that 7-Eleven now. Every time I go in there, I see a different comedian. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? What are you doing? You're in the fucking corner over there with rats. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the green room with the rats? No, that's just a little room over there. But that, that's really cool. You know how many times I've parked and I've gone in there like at one in the morning just to get like a soda and, and and no smoking gum or a lighter? And I'll sit there and within eight minutes, I'll see a rat the size of my fucking arm right there, 20 feet away. And that's when I run in the car like a little fucking pussy. <laughs> I fucking hate rats. I don't like those like vermin animals. Like I don't like like in uh we went to Rutgers in New Brunswick. They have like these ballsy ass pigeons. Where you'll be walking and the pigeon like won't move for you. So like you have to you end up finding yourself walking out of the way. I'm like I know I'll take out a pigeon. I know I'll beat a squirrel, but at what cost? Like it scratches my face, it po- pokes me and it, the bird flies up, tries to beak me in the eye. So I I, just, I do the same thing. I just avoid them. I love animals, but I'll kick a pigeon. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. As I don't want to. I, I don't want to have to twist this little. I don't pigeon like neck. those little fucking lice infested motherfuckers with nah. their disgusting feathers, shitting, plucking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. Fucking, they're dirty. Man. They're dirty, man. They're dirty. I fucking hate pigeons with yeah. all my heart and shit. <laughs> that place serves pigeon meat too. What place? That place that you went that day that you and Paula went. I just read the review. They serve <laughs> fucking pigeon and. <laughs> <laughs> Poorly. He calls me every me. He calls me, and I, my dad. I, I give my dad a few options, including stout, because I knew I, I took him through the, the Joey questions. I'm like, "What's Joey gonna ask if I asked him?" Okay, stout. We got him. He wanted to go get some Mediterranean. Cause they we have no Mediterranean down there in fucking Florida. It's not a, like that. You gotta no. take a plane all the way out here and embarrass we've been, me. We've been going That's there since why, I moved yeah. here. Uh, and then so. I happened to see Lee t- too, but I came for the sandwich. Jesus Christ but Almighty! He calls me, and he we go through this whole ten minute barrage of he he didn't even talk to my dad. He's like, I don't want to talk to people who eat hummus, and hung up the phone. And my dad's like, Does he call you uh, and ask about your meals a lot? He's like, Every meal. I like give the report of what I ate. Oh, it's I do it just to just to shock myself. <laughs> that's my entertainment. Whatever his dinner is, yeah, that's what my entertainment is. <laughs> because there's always a story. 
<laughs> he could call me and tell me he's going to go get a lobster tail. And he'll call me an hour later, and it completely changed to something so fucking outlandish that I won't understand it. <laughs> I could see if you go, nah, we didn't want lobster. We went and got fish. But he'll go from, like, a lobster tail to, like, the worst taco place in the country. <laughs> 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 I don't know he could talk that. to me about Mexican food and we'll talk about it how he loves it he can't wait to have it and an hour later he's eating at a black fried chicken place and he can't finish the chicken because it's so fucking bad <laughs> <coughs> this guy goes to Pismo eats pizza in Hollywood you go to Amoeba you always go to Joe's it's like tradition you go to Joe's no one knows this tradition and you, this get, and you get pizza when we go to Hollywood where do I take you the last three times yeah, so that's okay. Tradition. It's tradition. Him and Paula love pizza. They love bad pizza. They're at me, but all they had to do was walk thirty yards to go to Joe's. They're not dirty. Thirty fucking yards it is. Where'd they go? They got in their car and went to the worst fried chicken place <laughs> in the fucking country. They couldn't even recognize. They they would have done better at Popeyes. We would have. It's sad. It's not the worst. It's supposed to be the best. But who knew? No. You, that's what happens. You told me not to use Yelp. No, I, who no, hasn't heard of Roscoe's listen, Chicken and Waffles? When you're right at Omeba, there's only one place to go. Who, and that's Joe's Pizza. Well, I that, mean, you'll travel two hours to get a next bad Next time pizza. I'm going to call you at, at like no, don't 5 call me. This p.m. Is, just to check where This is go. stuff you fucking know off the top of your head. I he got, went to Austin. Thank God I stopped him. He was going to all you could eat Chinese buffet. <laughs> who goes to Austin to eat Chinese food? They would have poisoned him. <laughs> They would have poisoned them. Thank God for Bobby Sharon to take him to eat Mexican food. Oh, uh, Chewy's. Chewy. I mean, you know, it's so weird. Mr. Syatt, you don't understand what I live with. <laughs> Today? Today? Listen, he's happy with Blue Apron for a year. Two weeks ago, he... Wait, what are you doing, Lee? I'm at the supermarket buying Parmesan cheese. Like, what are you cooking? Spaghetti? He goes, no, no. This company, they, they deliver. This stuff was so bad. They had to throw it away. They never got it again. They were so embarrassed. Like, I don't take a chance. I'm from Jerry. I don't take chances. There's no reason to take a chance. If that Chinese place has a lunch special for four ninety five with a Diet Coke, I go there every day. <laughs> That's where everybody goes. I don't care if they want to eat Greek sandwiches. I don't even pay attention. Like, I can't eat Chinese food. That's great. You're eating Chinese food today. <laughs> I don't know nothing. I don't even ask people. Like, what, do you, what would you prefer today? I don't give a fuck. We're going to get the best. Do you want to eat the best? Do you want to fucking suck dick and take a chance and get sick?